Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to talk about propositions about winter. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Before we start, let me give you a short background about Wing Chun. Okay? So what is Wing Chun? Wing Chun is like this. Okay? Just take a look at these pictures. Okay? So Wing Chun is a Chinese martial art. Okay? It is a form of self-defense. Do you see this old guy here? This old man? Okay? His name is um, Ip Man. Okay, he is the grandmaster of Wing Chun. Okay, so here are some propositions about Wing Chun. Okay, so we have um, statement Q or proposition Q. Wing Chun boils down to mathematics. What do you mean by that? It means that Wing Chun and mathematics are related. Okay, you can see mathematics in Wing Chun. Okay? All right. Okay, what about um, proposition Q? Wing Chun is about strength and the ability to avoid fight matters. So you use Wing Chun for self-defense and not you just want to fight others. Okay? All right. Lastly, we have this statement or proposition S. Okay? It says here, Wing Chun can be learned. So we're going to connect these three propositions to make a compound proposition. Okay, and then we're going to determine the truth value of the compound proposition in different scenarios. I hope you already watched my previous video about the truth value of a proposition in different scenarios. I will give the link of that video in the i button above. Okay? Okay, so this is what I'm saying. Here. So this is the first scenario. So let us recall these three propositions. Okay, QRS. Given these three propositions, okay, we are going to decide on the truth value of this um, compound statement, okay, given this scenario okay so how do we read this again this is a conditional statement okay if q then r and s okay if you want to translate this in words okay so ibig sabihin ito um if wing chun boils down to mathematics then wing chun is about strength and the ability to avoid fight matters and it can be learned. Alright? Okay. So, if you watch my previous video, madali na sa inyo ang exercise na ito. Okay. Again, we're going to get the truth value for each statement. Okay? So, ano ang truth value ni Q, ni R, at ni S? So, paano natin gagawin yon? Okay? So, di ba ito yung assumption natin here? Kapag ito ang nangyari dun sa scenario, the truth value of Q, for example, is true. Pero kung hindi ito ang nangyari sa scenario, the truth value of Q is false. Okay? So, let's read the scenario. Matthew, upon reading much and correlating Wing Chun to math in his research, has gradually understood that Wing Chun is about strength and not fight, and that he can learn it in due time. Okay? Do you see it? Okay. So, let's look for statement Q. Do you see this? That one? Correlating Wing Chun to math. So, that means Q is true. Wing Chun boils down to math. Okay? So, the truth value of Q is T. Alright? Okay. What about R? Okay. Nakita nyo ba to? Wing Chun is about strength and not fight. So, 
What can you say about the truth value of our R? It is also T. Okay. And then finally, what about the truth value for S? As in the scenario. Do you see it? Here. He can learn it in due time. So S is also true. Do you see it? Now, to get the truth value of this compound statement, um, unahin muna natin to, yung R and S. Okay? Let's get the truth value of R and S. So we're going to combine the truth value of R and the truth value of S. And what is this? A conjunction. And what do you know about conjunction? It is true kapag parehong true ang pinag-combine natin using the word and. Okay? So, T ang truth value niyan. Okay, so finally, we can get the truth value of this statement. Okay, if Q, then R and S. So we're going to focus on these um, two truth values. The truth value of Q and the truth value of R and S. Okay, ito yung parang hypothesis ninyo. Okay, yeah, ito, oh, hypothesis. Okay, and then R and S, this is your conclusion. Okay. So, if your hypothesis is true and then your conclusion is true, this statement, this conditional statement is also true. Okay? So, this is the final answer. This is the truth value of if Q, then R and S. All right? Okay, let's have another scenario here. Okay, scenario B. So, again... We still have these three propositions, okay? This is now our scenario. Same, we're going to decide on the truth value of if Q, then R and S, okay? So this is our scenario. Ruth sees math in Wing Chun. Because of this, she is optimistic that she can learn it, okay? However, since it is math, she believes it cannot be a good sport in promoting strength. Let's now get the truth value for each statement. Okay? So, let us see. Oh, si Q muna. You see it? Okay. Ruth sees math in Wing Chun. So, definitely your statement Q here or proposition Q here is true. Okay? So, Wing Chun boils down to math. Okay? What about our statement R or proposition R? Nakikita nyo ba to? Ayan. She believes it cannot be a good sport in promoting strength. So, therefore, R is false. Kasi hindi ito ang nangyari sa um, scenario. Okay? So, yan ang value niya. Ito ang truth value ni R. And what about S? Do you see it? She is optimistic that she can learn it. So, ibig sabihin, Wing Chun can be learned. So, S is true. Okay? So, now we get naman the truth value of R and S. Okay? So, where are the values that we are going to combine? Ito at saka ito. Okay, and this is conjunction, R and S. And if you recall, kapag may isang false, ito o, oh, okay, kapag may isang false na yung pinag-combine natin using the word and, false na rin yan. Alright? Okay, and then finally, we get the truth value of this conditional statement. We focus on these two truth values. Your hypothesis is true. And your conclusion is false. And this is the only case where a conditional statement is false. Okay? So this is the final answer. This is the truth value for this proposition. Okay? If Q, then R and S. Okay? So I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. 
See you in my next video.